Do you still remember last week's uh, colorful display? <laughs> and how two of the top three acts that got through to the final left us all thinking, why is this happening? Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows. I wonder if that's gonna happen this week. Mr. Mama! And that, kids, is called foreshadowing. Hola viewers, hola viewers, welcome to a new episode of Livestream of Consciousness, a totally legit review of Mortal Got Talent by me, someone definitely qualified to make judgments about all the acts on TV while sitting on my couch sipping far too much coffee for my own good. This week it's semi-final too, and please god let there be no more fireworks. Foreshadowing. Remember Rona kids? Yep, she's still around. Same. Gordon Bonello, now an extra from Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker. So Sarah's black outfit. Here's my hot take. I like it. So can I ask, who exactly is in charge of this applause track? Like, it's very obviously staged. We're not under any illusions that there's an actual audience in the room. So to the person pushing the damn button, maybe pull your trigger happy finger off the applause sound wave for a second. Concept of movement are actually really good, I'm not gonna lie, having the dance undermined by repetitive applause is really distracting. So yeah. Wow, does that just give an actual critique? Well, this act brings a whole new meaning to the word face mask. So cars, yeah, I totally dig that. But hey, the tricks were there. Car stunts, fireworks, foreshadowing, mask misuse. The whole shebang. Guys, ha comproset, emozioni, eccitament, periclu, hila, tecnica. Ye must touch, not la, I ne am in foco. Please pardon Ray while he has a mask boner. What do you want to bet? It's a phantom number. Like on a scale of one to music of the night, how much do you want to bet? It's a phantom number. <laughs> And it's a phantom number. So I have no background in uh, theater, but I'm confused. He's a good singer, so why choose a song that's so deep for his voice? Visualment, man, the So yeah, I fully agree with Howard's critiques. Why am I giving actual critiques today? Learn to lose. Two. Yep, we stand a Billie Eilish cover. It's exactly what I was waiting for. There's one thing I'd like to send a message here to the Maltese public in Maltese. And God will translate. Kem mahna al Maltin. Kunem shahat bari min Malta. Ikunat shi competition da da tip day min shti u li vut aulu. Nispera liya il Maltin yam lutis haja lum al kem baran. Thank you. Grazie hafna. So yeah, about that translation. It was good. <laughs> I swear to God, if Ria doesn't make it to the finals. Same. <laughs> we need you in the final. Have you seen what's made it through so far? Six months ago, I could barely say my name. Those who didn't stand by me. Ready or tear ducts, golden buzzery Emma Kataya is up next. Who would have told me that one day I'd be here? See, this is good reality TV. We're seeing improvement between one episode and the other. She's listened to the judges, made reference to her own personal growth. This is classic character development and actual proper storytelling. There is no way she'll be kicked out tonight. 
There's no way. Foreshadowing. Yes, gentle reminder, this kid is writing her own songs, playing the piano and singing at the same time. Which begs the question, why are all the good acts in the same semi-final? Am I love your brave and true? I think I preferred your audition, and um, I'm gonna tell you why. Can I just say I like Maxine's new harsh light approach? I'm just a bit wary of you trying too hard. When you feel something in a song and it's naturally, there's a natural emotion like in your first performance, we feel it too. Now let's take it up to like harsh pro. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. Define karaoke. What a wonderful world. They're saying, how do you do? My God, thank you. What a wonderful world. Okay, stop with the applause track. Karen. Well, as I'm gonna have to be honest, I didn't really like much about that performance. I thought the projection looked like something of baby TV. Maxine Aquilina. I didn't really understand the dances with the flowers. I just don't see this as an act that can go to the final. You are my new favorite. Not today, Satan. Morgan Mage has props. Morgan Mage has an animated backdrop. Look at you coming in with that production value. You totally cannot read those cards, can you? Important to have Nali and my colleague Dea Shinid in Elkarta. Howard, I'll be it's upside down. And it's time for local favorite Slide and Joe Mike with another take on the traditional macchietti, which, for those of you who don't know, is a form of traditional storytelling done through song. <laughs> This is totally an educational show, guys. What are you talking about? Mr. Mama! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hey! Oh, for Tinko, no fair honey! Okay. Man up. So, thanks for bringing Macchietti to the stage of Mortis Got Talent. That being said, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't enjoy it half as much as I enjoyed the audition. Like, this felt way too rigid. And it showed, like, Leiden forgot his lines. Speaking of, are we not going to address the fact that the entire verse was skipped over and the judges said absolutely nothing? One. Any predictions? Based on last week, I'm hoping not to be woefully disappointed. Foreshadowing. Lashar semifinalisti Talayla. Morgan Mage. Concept of movement. Michele Panorosa. It's Panorosa. Serenziru nafu mini classifica malawa erb. Ria Gauci. Joe Mike Olayden. Concept of movement. Emma Kutayar. So we have our top four, and I'm. Uh... Befuddled, perplexed, confused. No, I'm just straight up pissed. One of these acts should not be here, and I will let you decide which one that is. Serin Habbar Lismiet, the Zelch act, Lijabu Liktar Amont Tavoti. Last Labet Ney Lohra, Serta A, Fidein, El Jajistana. Concept of movement. Joe Michael Aiden. Oh my god, for Yon Os Post. We had now Emma and Ria have to go head to head because this is what happens when you. Last la is Saia Fidein el judges Tana. My God, my butthole. El judges bekider lima abluish walura sener jauni referu lura al voti. Oh my God, my butthole. Lekt bijabet ligbar amont ta voti iya. Ria Gauci. Look, I want to say I'm disappointed, but. I should have seen this coming. Two awesome acts went head to head again, and obviously one had to go home again for f In conclusion, congratulations for continuing to vote subpar performances into the final just because we feel sorry for them. I'm not being bitter, you are.